Y'all been requesting, man. I heard y'all. I heard y'all. We back at it again. This time we go in, we starting early. And we plan to go through out the entire season. All right. So we back again with the 2K crossover podcast. And you know your boy Bruno Simon the scene wicked and mean. And I'm not introducing these grown ass men, bro. Y'all gotta introduce yourself, y'all. You Hey man, first off, listen, listen. Today's podcast is brought to y'all by Breeze Tees. You know what I'm saying? This is this is what we got. I right ain't got a paycheck, paycheck for this. I ain't got a paycheck for this. I ain't got no paycheck for this. Wait a minute. Free t shirts though. Where is my paycheck? I need my paycheck. I need my paycheck. And I'm not cheap either. You get free t shirts. But anyway, I'm not cheap. Nah, what's out there? Come on, man. The shirt tough, man. This joint tough, man. Come on, man. It's not up there though, so y'all don't don't go to the site because you can't get it, man. But anyway, y'all know who it is. Jay's. I want to say fresh from the barbershop. Brute gonna call me out on that. We gonna call. We gonna change my name to Mister No Beer because I <laughs> chat. Now I'm telling y'all, I cut two years worth of growth off my face today, and it was literally that much hair. That was it. I, I, I'm done with beards. It's, it's just not happening no more. So uh, <laughs> don't don't beard like you had a choice. <laughs> <laughs> the beards are done with you. Yo, yeah. All right, beard. yo, silly. I'm done with Beyonce and, and J Lo. Wow. I'm done. Bro. I'm done. I'm you know done what I'm saying? Like them, this, this, this is what I'm I gotta go Rihanna, through. Right? Bro. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. So I I'm never done. had a, I never had a chance. I'm done, bro. Mr. I'm no done. Beard is in the building, man. Go 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 ahead. <laughs> hey, what's good, y'all? I'm on City. Appreciate you guys tuning in, bro. Let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, man. So we got a lot of news to talk about. Mm. <laughs> I'm psych. I'm playing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, man. 2K basically started their rollover, man. So first thing they started that's off with That's what it is, a rollover. Man. It is a rollover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're doing the same thing they, they did rolled last year. over and gave up, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, man. Y'all got to do 2K like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what do y'all think about these pre-order packages, man? You can start got, off with Jay. Yeah, they got some pre-order cool. packages? What you get? <laughs> you just get the game? On the same day that everybody else get it? Like what? It's not is that a package? Like, no, okay, so this is this is why. Nah, you wrong. Like, you wrong. They have some incentives now. Okay, what's the incentive? You got pre-order then? bonuses, I, man. You got uh, two my team promo packs. Okay. A okay. my player gamer plates. And you got 5,000 VC, bro. 5,000? got to make you go get that pre-order, okay. bro. Okay. Okay. So let me tell y'all something, 2K. We were, we were on the pre-order. You remember the good old days in 2K15 and 16 and 17 and 18, even 18, where you could start your My Career a whole week early. You couldn't play online, but you could get your player as far as you could get him prior to the game launching, at, uh, you know, in that whole week. Now, you couldn't just keep playing the game, but you, you could play... You know what I'm saying? You could just play like the the prelude is what they would call it. Mm-hmm. So you could play the prelude, then they would put it out the the, fi- the Friday before the Tuesday that the game came out. So you get the prelude, right? Then after that week, you could go online and play for what? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Then Tuesday the game came out, and everybody that did not pre-order the game, they would get like y'all got to do something like that, I man. Y'all are they, they're not to the point where you can just just be like we just gonna put it out and and y'all are gonna accept it because that's just what it is like i i'm not i'm not but i think five thousand no... is good enough at least for you man because you be wearing 2k shoes all year so at least you could take that five thousand and buy yourself some shoes early jay uh, nah <laughs> nah that's gonna be boost right there was how many boosts would that get me like like boost. 10 of each <laughs> uh we're going with boost man on that one i'm not gonna lie to you i'm that five thousand vc ain't gonna do nothing for me i'm buying the cheap listen i'm gonna buy the cheapest Don't... version that has both versions of the game, and I'm just gonna do my daily spin both every day on both. That's that's all I'm doing. I'm not gonna do, uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not getting anything higher than that. Like the hundred dollar pre order, none of that. You just buy your own VC and just see where it goes from there. That's how I feel. But you know, that's just me. Silly, which version you getting, man? You already know. You about the pre order. I don't. I don't. First, the pre orders is a disappointment. We know for some folks they like the NBA 2K League Pass, but you finna pay hundred and fifty dollars for that joint. Eh? You know, so you're you telling know. me that 5,000 VC not doing it for you, City? <laughs> that 5,000 extra. But the hell you get with 5,000 VC? <laughs> they ain't nothing. You can't even walk into Swice and get anything. B. There's no socks. There ain't no T-shirt. You can't get anything with that joint. So what you, what's the what's the incentive for pre-ordering? Uh, that's why we try to tell folks, B. 
We're trying to tell them. I'm getting the standard version, purchasing the the least amount. With the standard mm-hmm. version, just in case you guys didn't know, standard version, you do get yeah. the the current, like the old gen version of the game. Right. So you get okay. old gen and new gen this year. So that's that's dope. Uh, that might be like an indicator that this is the last year for current gen or old gen. Right. Uh, it might be an indicator. Yeah. Uh, so I'm definitely going with that, and I'm probably going to buy the $150 pack of VC. That's probably what I'm going to do this year. So I can have, I can make two bills out of that. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me personally, I probably, I'm going to try to get the basic version. I'm not buying the NBA. I used to buy for the League Pass, right? Mm-hmm. Which made mm-hmm. sense. Because there's no blocks where I'm at. Where I'm at, I could watch right. all the games no matter what. No oh, that's right, that's right. At. But, I mean, somebody hit your boy on, I'm not going to say um, with that stick fire. Um, little link. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, uh I, I think I'm pass on that and save my money. I ain't gonna lie. I'll put that on bill. My first few bill, bills. Yeah. All right. I know people be like, yo, why are you putting VC on the game? I'm a content creator. Let it go. Just let it go. All right. right. I'm gonna put out my bills at the beginning of the year, re- make my recommendations. Yes, it's my business, but I'm not buying. I can't bring myself to buying these expensive versions of the game, bro. I don't think there's any incentive to get it. And the hundred K VC to me. Is offensive. It is uh, offensive. No. So I just did a video talking about the price per builds. And I explained how in NBA 2K24, that 100 k is not even going to get you to a, a, an 80 overall. 100 k <laughs> it'll cost you about 140 k something like that, to get to an it 80 overall. You might get overall. to 75 if you're lucky. Yeah. So right. And that's probably if you don't put it on yeah. any significant attributes. Like you put it on the trash attributes that don't matter, you might get it there. Can we, yeah. because we kind of skipped over this, I think the number one issue with pre-orders that a uh, good majority of the 2K players out there have is that we haven't seen no gameplay. They want us to buy something that we don't even know what we're going to experience. I mean, so sight that's, unseen. That's how they, they got people buying houses, sight unseen now, man. What you mean? Like, that's, that's the American way. Like, that's where we at. That's, but the way my bank account works, it, it doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> sight unseen just it doesn't work well with me, bro. No. Yeah. Uh, especially that's like you showing up to buy a house without seeing the house that's what he's saying bro, that's, that's buying they, they, do that, bro. they do that here yeah. in america bro yeah. Yeah. they do that here really? bro. they do that yeah, yeah. Or, they got they have a car. regular thing bro you pull or up buying you pull a car up. without they doing it with cars bro, they like do nothing, that with bro. cars too they they, they pre-order they ordering cars. them online yeah. bro yeah i don't mind you order it but i don't mind you order it tonight but you gotta show me the all the pics of inside outside and everything bro they haven't even that. built this joint yet mm-hmm. like it's the same thing with the houses they got a plot of land and they mm-hmm. say we're gonna put these houses on it and you can look in the book and yeah. say okay that's the one that i want sight unseen and people are buying people been they've been doing that for years man but, but you're not seeing the house at all huh no, you not see the house at all. Not until they build it. Not like what you think, bro. It's straight. No. Oh, they build it after. Yes, build they build it after. it after you pay for it. Mm. You don't even get to see a model. You might be able to go uh, go uh, uh, fifty miles this way and see see something similar to you gotta it. See a model or something. You you might can see a model sometime, mm. but the first people that buy it, they buy it at sight unseen. Nah. They're going off the reputation of the builder. You feel what I mean? Exactly. The yeah. So off that strength, because yeah, they can't, the they can't go off the they, reputation because their reputation exactly. is, <laughs> is it's not there. It's not up to par. So you're trying to sell us right on seeing houses, and you you really making huts. It's right. Like no nah, teepees, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But they but they prom but they promised you they promised you a three level modern home with all of this, and then when you pull up, it's a hut. Matter of fact, we don't even get a house in 2K no more. So that goes to show you what you finna get. So they, ain't hey, yeah, they better bring back that my team. They better. I ain't my gonna court. lie to you. My court. Yeah, my court. I mean, yeah, they better bring that I back. I just want the real ball real. return, bro. You can put the ball yeah. return in the Gatorade Center and that'll be cool, man. I don't even got to have my... This, no, this... stop settling. No, no, no. Stop. <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. We need that my court back. I would yeah, like we need it back. Too. Yeah, exactly. We need that, man. But well, y'all think 2K getting cocky with their rollout, man? What y'all think about, well, the lack of a rollout this time? Because they were way ahead last year, in my yeah. opinion. But what y'all think they're doing so far? Or why you think their rollout is just lacking so far, bro? Because, bro. Be- because I saw, because I recently started playing EAFC, right? That's what used to be called FIFA, right? Mm. Right. And they dropped a trailer. 
their game is dropping the end of September. And they drop the pre-orders like 2K normally do. But they did put out a trailer. At least they try to put out a trailer with their pre-orders. So you could at least get a glimpse of an idea of what they're thinking about. At least. But right. 2K, we get to see anything, bro. You know what 2K's tweeting about right now, bro? Face scans. <laughs> That's what their their last few tweets was about face scans. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, all right, man, we understand you're affiliated with the NBA. We get that. But, hey, us 2K players, if you're asking us to put money down on something, we need to know what we're putting money down on. And that's like a point-blank period. Why Why is gameplay the last thing? Now, I could understand they were doing that years before. But I have a feeling they've become overconfident and over-arrogant in the sense that, hey, keep up with the times. Look at what these other developers are doing out there. You 2K. Don't have the same freedom you think you want, like you know what you once had. What right. you once had, you had a you had everybody in a chokehold. Now people got options, man. CFB twenty five is a testament to that. They will go and explore those options, and two K created that revolving door of players, so people are even more inclined to dip out on two K and look at something else. And I definitely right. take it all back because you know we're talking about they dropped some of the uh, they. Mm -hmm did have a courtside report last year july 7th mm. there was a court i'm looking at i'm looking at checking out my mm. old videos they had a courtside report july 7th mm. yeah and then the day before that that you know they announced crossplay or whatever so that was like a day before that but they yeah. definitely had the cross they had that uh they had that one july 7th and then mm. yeah july 7th they, they dropped it back to back so they did the cross 2k has crossplay and then they dropped the courtside report right behind it and then then it was kind of you know steady steady info from them because I'm, I'm just looking at my videos from you know on, along that timeline yeah. and they were doing really well so i know that it had to be some relevant information there but well, last uh, year we weren't lacking for information as soon as it started dropping it kept rolling all the way until right. release bro. right <laughs> right and so they started that That's on true. july 7th because remember, and, everything and it was all hands on Do you think we forced? Do you think that we forced their hands last year though? Because remember, there was a leak first. Mm -hmm. There was That's a little true. leak first, especially with the cover and stuff like that. And then they immediately drop later that day, which they never usually drop later. Right. That day, bro. I think we made. Run. But even still, what was different last yeah. year and what I thought was going to make NBA 2K24 different from any other 2K is that all hands were on deck. Every right. affiliation, yeah. like anybody who's affiliated with 2K, they were out there on the scene answering questions, delivering answers, things like this. Yeah. Uh, they were out there, man. Yeah. And now, right now, it's crickets, bro. Crickets. Well, that might mean that they will get something really big, man. I can see that. Amen. They <laughs> might. The and, yeah, they dropped that report. And, that re and the biggest thing yeah. that that report talked about was pro play. They introduced pro play yeah. and talked about what it was and how it would impact the game mm. going forward. And yeah, stuff I think like they was that. really proud of that. Mm. Although yeah. I think they wasn't ready with their pro play. I still stand on that. Right. I still stand on I think that it wasn't ready, that there was something that was forced and it wasn't able to kind of do enough animations to change the game that, make right. that right. big of a change to the game. Mm. I still stand on that. But I think overall with their rollouts, in my opinion, 2K is really outdated. Really outdated. Like, yeah. even, yeah. like, for what they talk, they're talking about face scans. That shit not impressive now. We already know you have the technology. We know you have access to the NBA players. So yeah. you think we're going to get excited knowing, even if it's my favorite player? Not ever, you think I'm, they don't get excited knowing LeBron going there for a face scan? Yeah. Like, right. I don't care. Like, yeah, honestly. For, yeah, y'all pay for that equipment. Y'all happy you want to show it off? Let it go, bro. We yeah, well like, past those years. I really don't care. Like, even mm -hmm. player ratings. Who the hell care about player ratings? Who get excited to know a Bronny? Overall is like for real. Who got excited when bro? Ain't no way you tell me there's anybody saying, oh, Brownie is a 70 something. Wow, 2K. Like right. nobody get excited. They and that's the problem, bro. Like, eventually, if something work one year, everybody know you gotta do something to improve on it. You don't right. just stick to the same thing 
year after year after year. We could almost right. call what 2K rolls are going to be already, man. We yeah. already know it like the team. Right? The industry is right. evolving, bro. I mean, this is this on a month-to-month -month basis because we don't know what big drop is going to hit. Helldivers came out of nowhere mm -hmm. and took the, you know, took the gaming industry by storm. We don't know what's going to hit. And we got these live service. It, it went from being super, like, super dope the community the gaming community yeah. loved it and now it's like oversaturated in an instance right. so you right. know i think as 2k's response if their number one line item is marketing then they should know this stuff yeah like right they know this yo stuff. chat mm. 2k mm. 2k y'all could hire me <laughs> i got i got the degree y'all anyways anyways y'all probably can't afford me and i i was first first rule fire running 2k bad for marketing mm. but anyways uh, <laughs> Boy, for every single as soon as he show his face, I, I do drop a whole bar, Kendrick bar, how we hate how Ronnie look. I saw that. I yeah. saw somebody says somebody said that they failed their exams a year and did bad oh, in school and blame Ronnie 2K. I'm bro, like, bro, what? <laughs> it's just blame everything on Ronnie. <laughs> Right. Milk. I was, bro, Ronnie. and below him, dude said, yeah, bro, I'll be doing the same thing. I was like, bro. Like, Come on, Ronnie. Ronnie. Wow. wow. Well, he's the face of, uh, of the 2K community, and I, I don't, he doesn't represent it well. Oh. Uh, you see, then we compare him with LD2K, what we got. It's like, wow. LD. I don't think Ronnie is a bad guy. I don't think so either. Yeah. I think LD's way better people person. Ronnie acts, right? No offense, Ronnie. <laughs> All of He acts man. like... <laughs> he doesn't say no offense. I'm, I'm finna, offense yeah, I'm about finna to roast <laughs> Ronnie um, acts like somebody who wasn't very popular, but got some clout. And he don't know, understand how to be a people person with it, right? Look like he's going to throw some stuff in your face. Like... When Ronnie was playing the game and he was showing his overall, that, that seemed, seemed a little corny to me while he's in the middle of the game. and You know what I mean? When he's struggling and he looked like he panders to celebrity a little bit too much for the regular community. So people like, oh, so you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but we, we ain't nothing to you. Like, you know what I mean? He don't understand how to bridge that gap. All right. No disrespect. He tries. He tries to be cool. He, he tries, man. But he just passed too hard to be cool. That's even, what he looks like. Even with the way he presents himself, it's like, homie, now, if I'm not mistaken, maybe some people that are watching, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember there was a time where I did research on Ronnie. I was making a video and I ended up looking up his, really? his, yeah, his history and stuff like that. So I think if I'm not mistaken, he wanted to be a lawyer uh, or at least his family Somebody leaned him toward that route of being a lawyer. He so happened to come into one company where he flipped it around through marketing and that's how he yeah. garnered some certain level of success uh, uh, and he stuck with marketing yeah i think how he got into it was through certain boards online boards and what what people do normally like comment on the game and stuff like that and that's mm. how he got on yeah to it because he was passionate about 2k or something like that mm. you know so i thought he should more than everybody understand how the community is though that's the thing so he, I see the I even today I saw the compilation of Ronnie Lyon was circulating again, <laughs> bro. You know? There's people who think Ronnie's the dev, so they they hit him up and say, <laughs> yeah. "Your game, fix this," and he has like zero say so on what's going on in development. Yeah. Fact. None. Fact. Well, from a marketing Fact. perspective, he may have some influence, but <clears throat> he's I imagine he's just relaying the messages from higher ups to make sure some is yeah. correctly marketed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like the respect right. thing, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure that um I'm pretty sure with the respect thing, it was presented to him in a way and they probably changed it at the eleventh hour and then he just didn't get the email. But Yeah, you're probably right on that. Yeah. You're probably right on that for it, it should have been a thing, but I mean I think it would have I think it would have been awesome. But What's I, weird? I played EAFC. And I always used to say mm -hmm. EA as greedy as two K, right? Mm hmm I was one of the people saying, yo, EA is just as greedy as two K. But after I play that game, bro, they got See, if you play that right, they got something called the clubs, which is all mockery, right? You could create a player, 
You could grind them out, but you could just grind them out online. You ain't got no offline to grind them out. So you have to play against people to grind them out, right? Oh, okay. okay. But, but after you max them out, or even during your max them out, you could change your mind on the bill. They give you five options where you could create other bills. But if you just want to respect your player, or just take off the attributes and recreate the next bill, you can. Hmm. Free! Hmm. Free! And that's the yeah. game that we people say. And you can do game. that with position. You can do that, but with yeah, position, position, height, position, height, weight, position, everything. Height, Everything, yeah, everything. And, we, and the only thing we asking 2K is like, okay, let me, I don't have to be able to change my position, but dang, I mean, not 2K, yeah, 2K. Just let me redistribute my attributes. Like, yeah, I, we will take I spend, that. I spend money on this. Like, yeah. allow me because I created like I ain't gonna lie to you, I created like 14 bills this year. 14 bills, man. I had to delete four of them, not because I hate them, but because we ain't got enough slots, so I had to delete right. them, right? All right. Now I didn't spend money. After a while, I get the ball rolling. I played right. wreck and was able to grind up VC because all I did was play wreck this year. <laughs> all right. Mm. So I'm making a nice little profit. So I'm able to, once I reach like 200 and something VC, I'm like, all right, time to create a new build, bro. You ain't got nothing else to do with your VC, create a new build. And I had to go and delete those bills. It was pissing me off every single time. Mm hmm. Yeah, so many Every times. Every single time. Well, we out there, you know, for instance, like, I'll give you a perfect, one of my first bills, the no money spent build, I was off one attribute point on the Tracy McGrady jump shot. One attribute point off. If I was able to, yeah. you know, had I known about the threshold for the yeah. Tracy McGrady shot, I would have definitely made sure that I got, first of all, had I known Tracy McGrady was going to be a go to jump shot, that I would have made it. Make sure I got it. But yeah, that, right. that happens to too many players. We're all yeah. just one attribute point for a threshold. One and we don't points. we can't have the ability to add an attribute point because we're one yeah. off. Exactly. That seems shady, bro. And I, I could no, understand it's if it's maybe a new shady. developer where we're learning. No, this is obvious 2K finesse to encourage you to spend more money to get another build. Uh, clear as day obvious because they've been so connected. They have a committed player base. Right. right. Not right. some new jacks out here. And not only that, we're boisterous as hell. Like, we express yeah. our opinions even when there and, isn't none to express. And uh, highly competitive. Mm -hmm. Highly competitive. Which which is what they're taking advantage of, which we will that's, drop that's $100 exactly. for one attribute point. Yes. My crazy. recent video, right? I said this in my video. I was like, yo, allow the content creators to do their job. Let mm -hmm. us be the test of these. Let us right. play the game, some ones that you trust, and... Force them to do a review on the game. Right. And then make your choice. You know what somebody in the comments say? Bro, and you're all going to get a competitive advantage over me. I'm like... <laughs> this is no gaming. The developers Bro. consistently send their games to content creators so they could run a video explaining what they thought about the game before release. This is a right. thing. You're like, you don't want to get a competitive advantage. I would not allow it. I'm pre-ordering because I'm not going to let you all get the competitive advantage. I'm like, but that's what they use against you right there. Exactly. That's exactly what they use they against should, us. They should, one, that's all, they should 100% let us crash dummy this stuff for them. Like, when mm -hmm. I before I was a 2K content creator, I was doing Call of Duty. I never bought 2K before January because I, I had to wait mm -hmm. till all the patches went Bro. through and then mm -hmm. see what actually worked. I would never... If I was just an ordinary person to just play, mm -hmm. I would never buy it before Black, at least before Black Friday, when you could go in and when when physical copies were a thing, and you could go in yeah. there and get it for for less Bro. on Black Friday. Before I was a kind of guy, I used to wait on Shake, I mm -hmm. hard in them, mm -hmm. the videos, see if I uh, see if I'm gonna like the game. I used to be playing the old one until I ain't gonna lie to you, mm -hmm. I was never a <laughs> day one buyer. I wasn't. I just wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But. Overall, I think, um, in my opinion, man, I'm seeing a huge turn in the 2K community. I don't know if it's just talk right now. It could be just talk. But do y'all think 2K is losing its community right now, man? So we could start with you on this. Really? One. That's probably going to be yeah. long. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, nah. Um, I do have a theory on this stuff. I mm -hmm. think uh, 2K once had the opportunity... 
uh, for this game to be generational, meaning that, you know, you have a family, there's a father, a son, the son grows older, he then has a kid, and they're all playing 2K throughout the years. And it had that type of potential, uh, those type of ties, and had that sentimental value tied to the game, where we would express all our good times to the next generation, and then they'll create their own good times in their generation. But I, I think that done changed. Uh, I think the hardcore player base has chosen to go a different route uh, where they're now exploring different options because 2K is committing to things that are so far from what 2K once used to be. I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing, but they are drastically different from when 2K was, say, popping in the park days. Uh, and right now, I think they created... And, and there's, there's indicators for this as well. I think they created a revolving door of a player base where now mm -hmm. where folks once used to be on it the entire annual cycle chasing a legend grind, now they get on for two weeks, similar to if like I got on FC or I got on CFB, yeah. uh, where I don't have nearly as much patience. I'm not committed to the franchise, so I might get on yeah. for a day. If something frustrates me, I'm off. And I think that's what we're seeing now. A lot of 2K players, imagine this, a lot of 2K players getting on the game this year because it was free and it was free yeah. for like the longest time. So, and that's another indicator is that it's been free for a lot longer this year. Yeah, right. Uh, so, so their goal is just to create a player base because it's free. Mm -hmm. Entice them with a free copy. They don't have to pay. There's no, uh, how do you say, entry. Uh, no barrier. Yeah, there yeah, yeah. we yeah. go, barrier of entry. Yeah. So we end up with this revolving door of a player base who's not as committed. And when you don't pay for something, your expectation is not as high. And right. you're probably right. more inclined to see if you see an error code while you're trying to go into an online game. Yeah. You might huh, and then shut it off, delete, and not even think twice. <laughs> Right. Because that's what I do with other games. When I get another mm -hmm. game, over the last month or two, I've been exploring a ton of different games. And if I get on their game, I'm actually giving the dev a try. This is the way I approach it in my older age, mm -hmm. these video games. I give the dev a shot. Let me see what the dev's trying to deliver here. Yeah. So when I get on it, I see an error code. Oh, dev, you didn't do your job. Don't waste my time. Right. Jay. Me, I think I think that the way that you put it was uh, was just was pretty much spot on. Is that there's no shortage while there is no shortage of because there because somebody's gonna be sitting there, eh, eh, what do you mean? We got we yeah, okay, it's it's this many people on the game. We we got you, we got you. Well, what do you mean? Is it's, it's a million people on the game right now? Like no, this is not what he's saying. While there's no shortage of players playing the game <laughs> and viewing the game, the <laughs> core player base is now jaded and they are <laughs> it, it's just not. That the core player base is what we're saying is who who can be relied upon to do things such as the take the game the whole year, mm. then then roll them into the pre-orders, and those are the ones that get you your earned media and and that the where you can that market the game for you, and you don't mm -hmm. even got to market the game anymore. And while you have players mm. that are playing, it's a ton of play. Ain't no shortage of randoms out there to play against. There's no shortage of players to play against, but. When you look at the skill level, those guys don't know it. It was just like the guys we played this morning. They 99s. They had the black plate. Guys, and it was everybody's fault but them. They can't hit a wide open shot. They get bro. They just got the game because it was free, and they had grind the 99. That's just it. Just was what it was. They had no clue because the things that they were doing. It was obvious that they had no clue how the game went, especially in rec. Like everybody's running around. We passed the ball to brute. You know what's funny about that, Jay? Sorry, what's that? you know what's funny about that? those black plates, right? That we play with today. Mm -hmm. We had purple, yeah, and they were trying to tell us, yes, <laughs> that we're not as good as them. <laughs> they were like, "Yo, me and my guy here are the scorers, right?" Right. And they literally, I'm like, bro, they ain't even no respect no more. If I you like any other game, I just notice I'm on with some killers, right? Bro, let the killers work. Let the killers, bro. yeah, let them work. Them let guys them was work. like, they came in there and said, "Look here, bro." Look here. <laughs> then we gave them the ball and gave them a chance, and they still and they couldn't produce. So then we stopped giving them the ball. They're like, man, y'all. Then the dude graded out of the game. It it was awesome, but it was clear that those guys are not familiar with the game. Though you know the way that we were, they probably just got it when it was free and grind the ninety nine, whatever. But saying all that to say this, the core player base is diminishing, but at the same time, 
the the total player base is probably as big as it's big as it's ever been. And mm-hmm. sometimes those numbers are a little bit um misleading because because mm-hmm. of that. So, so there's a lot of people on the game because I know people are going to say that. There are a lot of people still on the game, a lot of people still watching the game, but we're just saying the core, core player base. I think they're a little bit jaded, and I think that that reflects in the pre-order numbers. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, let's move on to, because we, I just asked you if you think 2K is losing their community. Now, remember um, Wavy mentioned this, right? Shout out to Wavy. Mm-hmm. He mentioned this, right? And. Do y'all think this will influence what 2K does in the future? EA announced Friday that EA Sports College Football, right, 25, had Mm -hmm. 2.2 million unique players during its exclusive four-day pre-order period. Right. So that equates to an estimate of 165 million to 220 million in game sales. That's pre-order. Hold on one second. What am I button at? I think I think this is the button. I hope this. I really hope that this is the button. If it's not, I'm I'm gonna find the button. But I think this is the the one. We do not care. No, no, no. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. It was stop the cap. I think it stopped the cap. Hold on. No, it's not that one. There we go. Stop the cap right now. Let me tell y'all why. Let me tell y'all why that's cap. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of us got EA access, and you can just play the game early if you got EA access. Mm-hmm. You get ten hours for free. They're not putting mm-hmm. those numbers in there. We got EA. Mm-hmm. I have EA access. I can play the game right now, um, for free. Right until. But and, they put these numbers out. Will this influence what Two K does in the future? Is what I, ask. I sincerely hope so. Whether you believe the numbers are real or not, <laughs> the question is this: They Such put this reality. information. Because like I said, we talked about it earlier in the whole thing that 2K, I I felt like in the prelude days and the pre-order days where you could play the game four days early, I I always felt like that was dope. Like that was really good. I don't know what exactly stopped them from doing that, but I I feel like I I felt like that was awesome. You you knew that those four days were going to be the sweatiest four days on the game because Everybody that was on there from Friday to Tuesday until the game actually released, they were serious about playing 2K. They really wanted to be there. So, you know, I mean, I, I would like to get something from a pre-order, like like pre-order, and, and the only thing I do is get the game the same time that everybody else gets it. I, I just think that's that's ridiculous. Well, so, I hope so. I think, I think pre-orders will help. That what helped pre-orders as well was there was a lot of content creators dropping detailed content about the game. Uh, letting everybody know what to expect. So pre-orders came easy. I think there's a lot that, like I was explaining, I I think CFB, they understood something that should come normal to a lot of developers. If you're pushing a product and you want people to pre-order that product, then you show them what that product is. It's real simple. Allow creators to break down what they're seeing and uh, allow it to spread to the masses. That's what happened with CFB. It spread to the masses. The um, the concept behind it was fun. And yeah, it's, it's easy to push fun, you know, for anybody. It's easy to market fun. Uh, and I think for 2K, this should be a learning experience for them. And hopefully they'll eventually meet that learning curve to keep up with the times, keep up with the Joneses, and push fun to the at the forefront of your marketing. Because... This finesse rollout that 2K got going on right now, it has no, there, there's no incentive. Like, it doesn't incentivize the um, the player to say, yeah. I'm going to get this. There's a reason why I should get this. Uh, an NBA player's face scan is not a reason why I should be purchasing uh, NBA 2K25. And, and CFB just did that well. Uh, they opened it up to the masses, and the masses received it well. And they delivered a product that stood up to what they initially said the product was going to be. That's what's going on right now. That's where yeah, UK has a lot of trouble with that. They drop one yeah. product, they then they drop a patch, change the joint. And time. Yeah, yeah, that that frustrates the community, man. One of the things that stood out, especially with that college, because you know a lot of people went over to that game. Mm. A lot of us in the community. Um, yeah. When I watched the first gameplay thing, I, first thing that jumped in my mind, yo, that's fast. Mm. That looks fast. That does not look simulated at all 
Mm-hmm. Looks like pure arcade to me personally, how it moves. But it seems like the community is, is enjoying that, man. What do y'all think about 2K? And I hate to ask this question. I do. I do. I, well, I have to. <laughs> do you think 2K will actually take something from that in future 2Ks? Or do y'all think they will double down in the simulation arena, in the more slower type, realistic type gameplay? Which one y'all think the 2K community would prefer? Well, we know that we know the community prefers the faster gameplay because we have to stomach sped up 2K16 videos all year when people start getting upset with the game or whatever. So that's the first thing they're gonna do is just wait, 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 pause, pause, wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. What, what, wait, I didn't hear that. I kind of like, like, wait, what do you mean by up gameplay? Well, you're talking about the, the gameplay that they put out every year saying that, hey, the 2K16 was so much fun. It was so fluid, so great, but they put it at 1.5 or 2 speed to try to, oh. to, try to fool oh, to people make the game faster. Oh, oh, they speed up the, the recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, they, they the do video. that and they, yeah, they speed up the video and then say, oh, it's just <laughs> so fluid, so great. Like, come on, man. We know y'all sped the gameplay up, bro. Mm. But, but, Saying all that to say this, obviously the community, we saw which way the community wants to go at the beginning of the year when they put out the game that was, you know, pretty much pretty, pretty realistic. You know, uh, I'm not going to say it was hyper realistic, but, you know, it was pretty realistic with the what what was that thing? The um, uh, with pro play and with the shooting slump and stuff like that. Right. So they had all those things. It wasn't received that well. So I think that. Some people, the, I guess the ideal thing would be more realistic, but they have to have something that they can exploit or they're just going to say the game is bad. They don't have anything they can exploit. They're going to be like, God, oh, the game is it's terrible or what have you. Hmm. I don't think it has to be that way. It ain't. I don't think it know, has to be. Well, I mean to say, I think I, I want to believe that the community just wants a complete project. And what we got with Pro Play and NBA 2K24, we got a mixed bag of animations. Some coming from Pro Play, some coming from um, motion capture, mocap. And what we had to deal with as a player is the transition of animations going from Pro Play to mocap in one play, like one way, one uh, possession down the court. You're dealing with multiple different animations, uh, and uh, we received some some level of clunkiness. So I think there was a legitimate response to what we were seeing on game, uh, like on our screens, because it seemed like an incomplete project. When you hit somebody in the face, you go to throw a pass and hit somebody in the face, and the physics are totally off, like the trajectory of where the ball goes, that's totally off. It it just feels like a double A game. Is what I'm, there's instances that make it feel like a double A game. So I'm saying, if you deliver us a complete project, whether it's simulated or it's purely lean towards arcade people will receive it well but right now it doesn't seem like 2k24 has a real set identity we're vacillating between two you go into the park it's complete goofiness and then what you hear right and then what you end up hearing is that this is realistic and you know we have folks hitting half court and full court shots left and right so how is that realistic and it leaves us confused as hell this is what I think. I hear that narrative, but I don't think anybody ever claimed the game was realistic. Mm. I hear certain people say that, but I don't ever, like, I've never said the game was realistic. Right. You know what I mean? Well, I they say, say they that... move, they, they, I saw them move, trying to move in the right direction, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I don't think anybody ever said, will say with a straight face, 2K is realistic. Well, <laughs> well, you know what I'm referring to when I when I'm mm. mentioning realistic, and I think what a lot of people are retur- referring to is the slowdown mm. in game speed, right. the slowdown in how you fl- so normally would fluidly move through defense to break them down, or your animation going from a dribble into a drive was just smooth and seamless. Uh, I think this slowdown in our animation delivery and our movement, it just it makes it seem like 2K is intending, like purposely slowing down the game to make it seem more realistic, right? Right. And I'm saying we don't necessarily need a slowdown. You could just speed up those animations. Pro play is supposed to make uh, those subtle mannerisms that a actual NBA player performs while he's in the heat of the moment. That's what pro play is supposed to capture. Those little subtleties to make everything look complete. 
we don't need it slow down. 2K could in fact create realism and speed up the animation. Everybody wins. We get a faster paced game and it looks realistic and we could simulate. Why can't it be like that? I feel like that's what 2K once was in the park. Because I don't believe everybody. It, I don't believe there will be a world where everybody will win. Yeah, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. <laughs> I just, I'm just being you honest. Lying, I really don't believe it's a world where everybody could win. Because, all right, let me be honest. There are a lot of trash people out there. Facts. That is jumping on the game is trash, but it's really, y'all don't understand the game and y'all just do bad stuff. Like, you jump right. in random wreck and you see a lot of them. Like, they try some stuff that you know will never work, and then they cuss the game out. Oh, the game, like, nah, bro, you just... That's a, you. That's a you problem. You just yeah. try to drive on a seven footer and uh, yes, indeed. with a little bit, or you just try to take a really bad shot, contested shot. Like you just try to with you three people and think you should still have the ball, or you just try to spam a bill that clearly got high playmaking and you're a center. Like, like I see bad decisions being made all the time and people keep bashing the game. I'm like, all right, yeah. man. At some point, uh, it, it's not the game. And and I would never say 2K is perfect. 2K got a lot of flaws. Lord knows 2K got a lot of flaws. But, <laughs> there's always a but. A lot of times, a lot of people shouldn't be the ones saying it's the game for it. All right? You got to show me you got a good understanding. And then I'll be like, all right, no, you got some valid points. You got some valid points. Because when people call out certain things about I'm like, yeah, you right. You right. Yeah. You right. Like, I see people talk about defense, but when I play with them, they're reaching every possession instead of playing possession defense. Like, right. spam, spam. I'm like, bro, that's not how you play defense, bro. Not even in real life, that's how you play defense. Like, you can't expect a steal to bail you out defensively. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you got a high steal. No, you got to play mm -hmm. position. You got to be the person put to the spot. You got to anticipate right. You got to mm -hmm. position in basketball greatly benefit you in 2K. And those are the things when I hear people like, oh, yeah. so all right, I hear you. Here's a, uh -huh. here's a, that's a perfect issue, Brute, what you just brought up about steals. Because mm -hmm. that's a very real issue and a point of contention on NBA 2K24. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like the devs leave the community confused. 100%. We, well, we start the year and steals are great. Where people who well, did play position, a lot of yes. people that played position, good lockdowns that played position, got that rock. If mm -hmm. that point guard made a mistake, that lock got that rock. Mm -hmm. When 2K lowered the sliders, we know a lot of mm -hmm. animations went with that lowering of sliders. Like, they were gone. Completely all yeah. the behind-the-back steal, the reach yes. over across your body steal, yeah. gone. But with that also came defenders doing the right thing and playing the correct positioning while the ball handler makes a mistake and the shading system indicates that he made that mistake and it glows red and you don't mm -hmm. give that lockdown with a 99 steal the ball after he continues to dribble into your chest right we end up confused and i think that's a 2k thing is is issues like that that ends up becoming a 2k thing where it once was fixed in the same annual cycle completely but, different but bro. was it overpowered or was it i feel it was overpowered so i was having this conversation exactly. bro exactly so i think steel was although i was one of the people it's on record that we saying don't touch it 2k although mm -hmm. i'm a point guard you don't know that no matter what right. i play point guard i'm sorry mm -hmm. I, I play point guard that's how it is i play point guard so you could ask jay i was reaching up on people that was and I was beating them because as soon as I see a lockdown running me, I pass the ball. That's because right. I know mm -hmm. lockdowns hate. They know that steel is so overpowered. They hate to see you pass the ball. Mm -hmm. So I'm letting them all go early. Mm -hmm. And that would beat the defense easily because they would have a few people with steals. And once I identify who got the high steals, I right, pass the rock to that person who don't have it, right? Mm -hmm. Easy to beat. So I was like, leave it how it is because now I'm using their power against them. So, of course, you could think the game. Of, oh, so I was like, leave it how it is. But mm -hmm. when they patch it, I still understood because it still was rewarding bad defense. A lot of bad defense was getting rewarded out there. Yeah, there's facts. A lot of people just come and just spam, spam, and it would bail them out. Like you would beat somebody, especially like the behind. You would beat somebody, get a step, and then that, that animation clicking for that behind the back steal mm -hmm. would always think. So, um. Yeah, it's hard. It, it, I think it's wrong on both sides, to be mm -hmm. honest. Yes, I see. It's wrong on both sides. Yeah. I think both sides 
get some blame have some blame in that but i'll put most of the blame on 2k you right because they are misleading people in that you pull out a game where the Steelers is that overpowered you training them wrong at the beginning of the year i agree you train us you're giving us too much success with bad habits at the beginning of the year yeah. so i will concede i don't usually admit i'm wrong but <laughs> i will concede this time that 2k in this situation 2k got most of the blame for real city yeah, I, 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 I could dig it, bro. I could dig it because if we're if we're supposed to train players on how to play, yeah. you know, the game that we got in front of us, and that game is consistently evolving in one annual cycle where 2K24 currently looks nothing like it looked on day one release. Right? Uh, how the hell are we supposed real. to adapt to this, V? Yeah. What are we supposed okay. to do with this? Game. Yeah, completely new game because in the beginning, you could shoot the ball as long as you win the ball handle. Anybody else could shoot. It's like they wanted to force you to pass the ball because ball, main ball handler, you weren't going to just be able to shoot, shoot, shoot. Unless you, you get it, pass it back. Or if you kill your guy, come to a complete stop, set your feet, and then take the shot. Other than that, it was real difficult. Like, Bruce, yeah. like, he, he, he didn't know. He was getting on the rim. He didn't care. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, he, he, started, yeah. he still shoot the ball three times a game. So, like, yeah. and, and what, what yeah. three, yeah, yeah, three out of four. Like, piece, though. Yeah. But now, this game right now, is a point guard heavy game. Way it is. heavier than it was at launch. Right. Mm -hmm. At launch, you had to involve your teammate a little bit more because those right. slumps and things could mess you up, especially if you got your dude in the corner not shooting at all. If you need him for a shot, he probably cold in the corner there. Mm. Right. So it, a lot of stuff. I don't well, know, man. I just beg to get to stand on what they dropped. Thank you. That's my issue. Dropped. It's like they're acting like they like they don't got two and a half decades worth of experience creating this game. Yeah. And we give them the we're, being that we're so long suffering, the 2K community gives them the benefit of the doubt every single year. And I'm I'm like, cut them no slack. They deserve zero <laughs> slack from us spending way more money and receiving less. Not only that, receiving consistent changes wasting money along the way with each one of those changes because we yeah. don't know if our bills is going to be able to live up to the new patch and be able to compete with the with the new patch adjustments yeah uh, i definitely had a lockdown i had to delete i ain't gonna lie <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i created a lockdown with 99 steel i delete them all uh, after that patch but i was right. like yeah it's hopeless i went out there three three fouls instantly i'm like damn i mean i'm i was in good position too i'm like all right that's how that's what's been going on with my lock over the last week <laughs> i bring my lock out and i'm like come on b why isn't really... the strengths get affected that what you're supposed to be right. strong at it seems to be the most affected yeah yeah because the only thing you really want is a lock is if i beat you to the spot i don't even got to get the ball I, I need if i beat you to the spot get a good bump and then you do a dumb move and the ball is just sitting there mm. like this and I reach at that time with the correct hand. Can I get it? That's I, I don't need it to be like you make a mistake and then I just run up and take it like most people do. I'm like, if the prerequisite was good defensive position, get a good stifling bump, and then the player still mm. makes the wrong decision, now you can take the ball. Just I give like us some idea, type of criteria mm -hmm. to to it. And then you're still not going to get it every time when that happens, right? You just It just will be a higher percentage, like maybe 70%, something like that. Once you get, but you got it. The thing has to be, you got to get a good bump and he might even have to have lower stamina or something. Like if I mm. don't work you this entire mm. possession, you still shouldn't be able to go get on the rail. Like mm. it should, it should be based like a little momentum system on both. Yeah. If, for yeah. example, like, like you said, if a defender is getting some good bumps and you all the way up the momentum and lean more to, to him right. versus if he's making a lot of mistakes and your momentum leads more towards you mm. right so, simple fix yeah right but it, yeah, but it's, it seems extra complicated on two k's behalf well us content creators we because we're veterans we've been here doing this for so long and playing the game for so long we can see these things and instantly think of a solution we don't know mm -hmm. how to implement it because we don't do coding but you know that's their job it's well, not but, our responsibility. but we know we know they can and we know they can do that momentum thing because we've seen the game with the momentum bar before that was up above in, in college basketball in 2003. Mm. So you playing mm. against, so I don't think that it's that much more difficult. In, in 2003, I had, this phone right here is, is 90,000 times more powerful than that Nokia 8190 that I had back then. So mm. I don't think that there's too, asking too much to have a momentum based just between two character 
interaction. So while we're interacting, the mm-hmm. momentum that that we have is is going because they can do we can they do the physics based momentum right. So it could definitely be momentum just based on different stuff. So and then it, once you get six feet apart or something like that, like when we play in real basketball, you get six feet apart, it starts back over. Mm. Something like that. I don't think it's that. I don't think that's that difficult. Babe, but it might you, be. You, you're gonna have to, you know, educate me on that one because I, again, I just have the idea. I'm not the programmer. You're more the tech yeah. guy. So you know, I could just put out ideas. I always says, I always say this in my videos. I'm not a tech dude. Right. No programming or none of that stuff. But to me. This is what y'all should look at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, y'all got any final thoughts, man? I think we're coming towards the end. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a long, it's been a long, drawn out, boring, disappointing week for me. Yeah, facts, bro. I agree. As a 2K fan. And I expected more, bro. I, I know, I know <laughs> I shouldn't, but I expected more, but I I I I don't think face scans and overalls is still a thing in this 2k community I, overall no. i just think they need to just update their mindset just to come on man it's just terrible marketing bro. but y'all got any final thoughts man let's start off with you city well i feel like 2k they need to do better uh all across the board gameplay uh marketing show us that you're keeping up with the times last year was so enlightening watching them all come out all hands on deck i felt like i was really a part of this whole 2k thing and it felt like a 2k thing dead serious it was last year and i was so surprised by it i was taken back i didn't think i was going to feel like that ever again i was so yeah. disappointed by 2k23 but sure enough as long suffering as us 2k players are we we uh we make amends and we say all right let's let's give them another shot and uh, they did it yet again, in my opinion. So, I don't know, some of you guys may not agree with me, but I, I deleted 2K24, and I, I tried getting back on over the last week, mm. and I'm just as disappointed as when I deleted it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, it's, it's just facts, man. I'm really disappointed with my experience on 2K24, what it turned out to be. If it had it stayed mm. like day one, had they been confident? You, there's a thing to say, you know, like when we was talking about the pre-orders and Jay was talking about the prelude, it speaks to the confidence that they have in their product to say, we'll drop it four days early because we're so confident there's going to be a W. We ain't worried about folks getting it early. When we get finessed into thinking that we're getting something amazing, even though they've had a track record over the last few years of being mediocre, you know, subpar, uh, in my opinion, there's nothing been amazing about the next gen versions of 2K. Nothing. And I don't think anybody could say this joint has been amazing on the next gen consoles since release. Although I believe 2K24 is the better version out of the next gen consoles uh, releases. I just think they need to do better. They need to deliver better and start offering us a bit more respect and saying that we've been here a long time, man. Here, take what take what you deserve, y'all. This is the game that we we show we have two and a half decades worth of experience creating. That's my thoughts on that. Jake? Man, I think I said in the beginning, bro, we, we, we had information on July 7th. It's it's the, the 20th. We ain't got nothing. I get it. Maybe that maybe they were planning to do it at the end of the summer league or, you know, do things. But like, come on, man. You can't you can't keep you can't keep doing the same thing. And expecting a different result. The same thing, the same. Well, you can do the same thing and expect a different result. If I keep trying to score on you and I go right and you keep beating me to the right, so I cross you up and then I go left and lay it up. I'm doing the same thing, different result, but I didn't do the same thing the same way. That is the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing the exact same way and expecting a different or better result. And that's what they're doing. And I don't know who's insane because they said, what, well, don't argue with a fool because from a distance you can't tell who's who. I don't know who's insane. Us for continuing to expect something different or them for, can, for, for expecting something different. Like, we haven't done anything different. We keep buying it. They haven't done anything different. They keep selling it. Well, technically, I don't know they're, 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 they're a week late <laughs> on their rollout, so it's different. <laughs> So well, technically, it's different. You it's know, worse than last year. Uh, I yeah. would like to commend the 2K community because I think we are doing something different. I, I think the 2K 
What I mean to say is, like we explained right. earlier, where the core player base is no longer as attached as we once was. So right. we're seeing some different where we're going out and we're exploring different options, man, because this 2K thing, it, it, it don't got the same type of wave. It's not as lit as it right. once was. So you can go ahead, Jay. No, no, no. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. I, I think that's what it is, is that that some people used to play 2K from sunup to sundown and mm -hmm. of the gaming cycle. Sun up mm -hmm. to sundown, like we did in 2K20. But now people are a lot more inclined to try something different because it's just like to a lot of people, it just became blah. And the mm -hmm. and the spot where it happened was when they first changed when they did the first we dealt with the bad jump shooting and all of that. But when they started changing it on Monday evening and then Tuesday morning and then Wednesday, like okay, by the time you get it on Monday evening. Okay, I finally got it. Okay, wake up Tuesday. It's a different... Where's my green zone? Okay, yeah. okay, I figured it out on Tuesday evening. Wednesday morning, you wake up. It's gone. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You guys are doing something. No, no, no. Up. We're not doing I didn't anything. Didn't really, I didn't really enjoy um, experiencing it because... I was always a rim runner. Yeah, right? you didn't shoot the ball, so yeah. Uh, but I, for I us, it was... they were cussing you all out while you were breaking yeah. my shots. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's all good, though. Like I said, I think that's where they started losing people, though, when they kept, when they yeah. started that. And then, you know, we came back, we come back, we keep on, but it's, it's just like, it's a, it's a it's a hate-hate relationship, man. And But people, if I stream something else, hey, man, why you not streaming 2K? So, you know, the people are still yeah. here. They're still around. Hardcore, the most hardcore of fans are here, but the core player, but the the can we say the casuals on the periphery yeah. that made up the core, the mm. core fan yeah. base? Mm. Those are the ones that have been alienated, and they're way more inclined to go play college football or X Defiant mm -hmm. or Call of Duty because it's going to be free this year with Game Pass and all that. I think that you know, I think they're way more inclined to do something else. Uh, but I, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm gonna be here, man. I, I can cap all I want to. But I'm, I'm gonna be here the whole year. Thanks. Yeah, I think for me personally. 2K got to stand on it this time. <laughs> I know it ain't going to happen. <laughs> Let Get rid of all these creators y'all listen to. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of all of them. I'm blaming them and I'm blaming y'all for listening to them last year. Came back to bite y'all in the ass and we felt it. Um, I did enjoy the game all year long, but that's because my approach is has been changed, man. To be honest, like I use 2K to just chill with Jay and chill with some people that I chill with. That's it. It's not heavily bent on gameplay. We're not always locked in like that. We be talking trash 90% of the time. With most of our focus, we're talking trash and with 30% <laughs> towards 2K. Exactly. <laughs> to be honest with you, right? <laughs> so my approach to 2K right now, yeah, I just like, you know what? Create multiple builds. If I feel like going 6-8 today, I go 6-8. If I feel like going my 99 slash today, I go with that. If I feel like going my mid-range today and just mess around and have fun, like it so yeah, I stopped being in too, you know, get too technical with the game because of all the major changes, man. But I just hope that the the rollout is is, is what it is. I accept it. Y'all not changing. Hopefully this week we get some news and y'all start the rollout. No once y'all start, y'all don't stop. And y'all give us something significant to believe in. Mm. The pre-orders is trash. Mm. Please don't buy the pre-orders, y'all. Don't. There's no incentive to get the pre-orders. Look at what college doing, bro. Look at, come on, EA, EA looking like a better company than 2K crazy. in terms of how they treat their community, bro. Like, crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Mm. They get in the game a few days early for pre-orders. They respect pre-orders, not 5,000 VC. That's a slap in the face if you see. Bro, that's the biggest slap in the face I ever seen, bro. Like, they showing us. And after what we found out about VC, they said VC ain't real and all that stuff <laughs> throughout mm -hmm. the year. <laughs> Remember with the lawsuit and all mm -hmm. that stuff? Like, yep. like, come on, bro. Like, come on, my G. But um, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm here for it. Y'all know we're going to keep y'all up to date, of course. Make sure to check out my guy, City and Jay Easy's right. channel. Y'all know what it is mm -hmm. by now. Um, so we out with that one, man. Have a blessed one. Be safe out there, y'all. Easy, yeah.